friends welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna decorate this little embellishment box so this one's a little bit smaller I got it from the Dollar Tree so you know there's the bigger like the thicker ones that are like maybe two or three inches in width but this is the smaller one you find this in like the toolbox section or like the tool section so I'm gonna be decorating this one um, I went ahead and did a lot of the work ahead of time but I wanted to explain what I did so in case you wanted to decorate one of your own so um, I'll give you the dimensions of this box so this box is seven inches in length and then the width is about four and three-fourths in width and um, it's super nice because you could put all sorts of things. I'm thinking of putting in like cabochons or like resin pieces in here. And then I could also put um, sequins or trim or whatever. And it's smaller in size, which makes it nice. And um, when you do packaging, you can easily put this inside. And so um, I went ahead and already cut my material and I uh, rounded the edges and I did some sewing. But I'll give you the dimensions in case um, you want to decorate your own. So this one comes out to seven inches in length. So it's the, the size of the box and then four and three fourths in width. So it's the exact same measurements of the box. And then I just rounded, I just rounded the edges and I went in with my sewing machine and some gold, um, some gold string. I forget what it's called and I embroidery thread and I went around the whole edge of this. And then I did three layers or four layers, including the bottom piece. So for the next layer, I got this really chunky glitter cardstock and this is from Hobby Lobby. And this one I cut to about, let me see, six and a half in length and about four inches in width. And I rounded the edges as well. For the third layer, this length is six inches in length and then three and three fourths in width. And I also did some sewing and this one was with this like teal thread. And then for the final layer, this one's five and a half in length and three and a half in width. And the paper that I used for both of these is from Main Squeeze and the ephemera is from Main Squeeze. And the stickers here are from Main Squeeze as well. And I picked those up from Tuesday morning. And as you can see, I did sewing around the edges here. I did sewing on the bottom of this, um, like the saying or the sentiment on Valentine's Day. And then I did sewing on the little hearts right here. And I'm gonna put those all together. And I think they coordinate really well but um, I felt that the blue was too much, but when I go in with this trim around the edge, it's really gonna tie it together. So let's put this together and I'm gonna um, fast forward while I do this.
so there you have it guys so here is the completed little box I still have to fill it with goodies but I think it came out really cute I was right about the pink trim that definitely tied in this little mint background and I think it just came out really really cute I love all the stitching and every single layer here it's super cute I love that it says Happy Valentine's Day, and I think I, I really, really enjoyed this process. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than I thought, but it was really simple to make, and I hope that the um, dimensions help you to make your very own embellishment box for your pen pal. So I hope you have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!